Close your eyes and find your breath. Where do you feel the breathing right now? Focus on that spot or on those spots. Make sure they're comfortable. When you focus, you don't want to put too much pressure on them. Just put the, just the right amount. If it's too light, the mind will float away. If it's too heavy, you start feeling constricted. So find there just the right amount of focus, right amount of pressure to put on the breath. And stay with it. Other things will come up, and you have to make up your mind you're not going to go with them right now. You're going to stay right here. You want to establish yourself here in the present moment. And it's not the case that when you're meditating you don't ever think at all. You think about how to get the mind to settle down, and you think about how to keep it there. Other times when you meditate and you've got a purpose in mind, you want to think about something. Here it is, the end of the year. And it's good to think about it, the year that has passed. Okay, What have you learned from this year? What are the good things you've picked up? What are the bad things you've picked up? Can you let go of the bad things you picked up? In particular, about habits that you've developed over the year. The Buddha has you ask every day, days and nights fly past, fly past, what am I becoming right now? What you're becoming is what you become through your actions. You know, that moment of horror when you have your children and you realize that when you yell at your children you sound just the same way that your parents did when they yelled at you, that you're becoming your parents, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But look at the way you speak to other people, look at the way you act, and ask, what kind of person am I becoming? Look at the way you think, what kind of person am I becoming? Is this the person I want to be? If it's not, you can make up your mind, this coming year it's time to change. This is what New Year resolutions are good for. But in order to be really good, you really have to be honest with yourself about the past year. So it's good to take some time every year toward the end of the year and just take stock of what the year has done, and particularly what you've done with the year. Many times we think about what happened to us in the course of the year. What's really worth thinking about is what you did in the course of the year, thinking about the results that came about came about as a result. Are they the sorts of things you want to continue producing into the new year? Okay, good. Keep it up. If not, here's your chance to change. Because it's not the case that once you develop a habit, you have to stick with that habit. It becomes easier and easier, and this is why you have to be very careful about habits, because they're like ruts in the mind. You're driving down a road and you suddenly get stuck in a rut that some other car has left. It's a lot easier to stay in the rut than it is to get out. You want to make sure that the ruts in your own mind are going in the direction you want to go and not in some other direction. So it's good to take stock of what you've done in the past year. It's like that story they tell of the woman who asked her children every day when they came back from school, not what they learned in the course of the school, but what questions did they ask. In other words, what active role did you take in shaping your life this year? And is there some way that you can take, make a better role for yourself? Can you learn from whatever mistakes you did this last year? Can you learn from the good things you did this last year? So you become a new person, a different person, a better person, the person more like the person you want to become. Because it's all too easy to think about events outside as forcing us to do this or that. But we always have a lot more choices than we might have thought, and it's good to look for those choices and try to make the most of them. In this way, this custom of having a new year around January 1st becomes a useful custom. You look at other cultures, the Chinese New Year is some other time, Thai New Year is some other time, Sankaran, the Indian New Year, that's still some other time. We've got four New Years just in the first four months. And aside from a lot of celebration, what gets accomplished by having all these New Years? Well, if you take this as a time to think, as you change the pages of the calendar. Maybe it's time to change pages in your life, too. So think in those terms, and particularly think about what you've done and what you could be doing. Think about the active role that you take in your life, and that way you benefit from these customs.